What's good with y'all, bro? I know I'm on a, it's a little different setup. Usually I used to seeing my uh, computer in the background, but today I'm like, you know what? Let's change it up a bit. I'm finna start doing a whole lot more reactions too, so let me know which, which type of videos you want me to react to. Now I saw this on my timeline, right? And I saw like like a minute of this. And I was like, you know what, bro? This is perfect for talking about confidence and like unconditional confidence and stuff like that. Because I know I talk a lot about that. And so I want to see what this dude has to say. I forgot his, uh, what's his name? Shout out to him. Wait, what is it? Can I go out? Let me see. Shout out to Ahmed Ghost. I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but yeah, shout out to you, dog. Um, see, I just want to get straight to it, bro. Let's just see what he's talking about. I know y'all watching. Don't lie. He's talking to y'all niggas. He ain't talking to me. He's talking to y'all. Go ahead. Go ahead, though. Being themselves, especially when in public. Think about it this way. Sometimes we get a spot on our face. And we look in the mirror and we notice we've got this pimple, this spot. And we're like, oh my God, how am I going to go outside the house today? Oh my God, how am I going to go and face people today? You need to understand that sometimes all these thoughts about what people will think about us are actually in our mind. And they're not actually thoughts. It's a fact, bro. You know what that's called, too? That's called the spotlight effect. For y'all that don't know, go look it up, bro. The spotlight effect is where you think that everybody... It's like you think that there's literally a spotlight on you like you on a stage. You think everybody is watching you. But the truth is, don't nobody give up about you, bro. Like, everybody got their own spotlight effect. Not everybody, but most people got their own spotlight effect. So they're too busy worried about other people worried about them to be worried about you if that makes sense so he's talking right now though and, and look hey, hey two shout outs to him too because i know this ain't this may not be easy i know 99 percent of the people if they had some if they had like what he was going through they would you know probably wouldn't even think of doing this you know what i'm saying so shout out to him And bro, you know what's so crazy too? Like, I used to have the same feeling that he was having when I was a salesman. I had, I was at stage two of my illness. If y'all don't know if any newcomers are here, HS stood for hydrogenated supertiva, long word, basically, body's fucked up, let's just say that. But anyway, like, I had uh, self limiting beliefs. I was like, yo, bro, like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to sell these products about clear skin and how it can help you with, uh, this and that, um, we got body oil and, and shampoo and all type of other cleaning products. I felt like a fraud because I was like, yo, how is somebody going to look at me with all of these uh, problems and flaws, right? And then trust me to sell them on a product. That was going through going in my head. Every time I be in the mall, I be thinking, yo, somebody probably looking at the patches in my head. I'm, I know somebody looking at the patches in my head, bro. I know somebody looking at my face like, damn, bro. And then and the, and the fact of the matter is, like, don't nobody really care for real, bro. Like, people only care as much as you care about it. And that's what I had to learn, bro. I don't tell me. I used to hate oh, going. And I used to walk in, and I used to hold my phone like this, and just look down and scroll on my phone, and sit in a corner, and not even interact with people. Because I used to be so scared of facing people. But what you need to understand is, and I say this again, sometimes people aren't even thinking about you. People aren't even noticing. People are just getting on with their own issues or insecurities. Nobody cares about you. Basically is what he's saying. Nobody gives nobody cares about you, so just do it. You might as well just do it. I'm sorry, I had to say that. Whatever that is, people are thinking about themselves. We need to control what we think about ourselves. We need to control what our thoughts are about ourselves. We need to look in the mirror and say, you know what? I'm 
good enough. You know what? I've got this. You know what? I can make it happen. And you will notice that it won't matter what other people think. And it's not going to happen the first time you do it. Trust me. It's something you need to practice. Nobody is born confident. Nobody is born resilient. Nobody is born with strength. You don't grow up with big biceps or a hench body, do you? You have to work on it. Similarly, you cannot grow up resilient and strong and confident. You need to work on it every single day. You need to consider. Yeah, so what he's saying is just that all of the attributes that you think people have when they just they just seem to just naturally have it growing up, like, oh, he was just born that way. No, but most of the time, I'm at, in fact, like 100% of the time, you have to work on it, bro. Anything that you want, you have to work on it. You want big biceps, you got to work on it. You want to be rich, you got to work on it. You want to have confidence, you got to work on it. You want to have a have good speaking skills, you got to work on it. It's like a muscle. The more that you, you either use it or you lose it. You just got to keep on doing it. You got to just gotta keep on doing it, man. Another thing, too, is who you talking about? What he's talking about is just basically the root of all of this is self-love. Which I talk about all the time. Self-love, bro. Like, the self-love and the love that you have for yourself will over it will trump all of the the self-limited beliefs that people have about you. It doesn't matter what it doesn't you don't have to be liked by others because you love yourself. Basically. Consistently make yourself confident. You need to make yourself resilient. You need to make yourself stronger. And the only way you're going to do it is by consistently working on your mindset. And that is the most important thing. Work on your mindset. Look in the mirror every single day and tell yourself, you know what? I'm good enough. You know what? I got this. You know what? I can make it happen. Speaking of two existence, bro, some of y'all may think like, I'm not doing all that. Bro, you got to speak into existence, bro. If it, exi- it, if it exists in your head, okay, that means that you experienced it. You just got to wait on life to catch up with what you experienced in your head. That's all it is, bro. You just got to... Some people say it's wishful thinking, but it's just visualization. You just got to speak into existence. Because you are... Like, I keep... I say this for a reason, bro. The man who thinks he can and the man who thinks he can't is correct. And it's for this reason right here. He's saying it right here. He's talking, bro. yourself you're beautiful like yourself i always say this in, in, in a lot of talks and a lot of videos of mine we're so lost in trying to find validation in others we're looking for others to validate us we're looking for others to like us we post a picture on instagram and we're waiting for likes we post a video on facebook and wait bro most of the people that you see online is frauds bro most of the people that you see online got insecurities about themselves they probably would love to show off a lot more about their life they probably would love to be the stars of their own show, but they don't, they don't want to show it to nobody because they're afraid of what people are going to think. They're afraid of the critique and the criticism. So by you trying, you already miles ahead of them. And what does trying look like? Well, he said, go in the mirror and wake up. First, thank God, because you need God, but I don't care nobody say. First, you thank God, and then you look in the mirror, you're like, damn, I'm that, I'm cold as I'm that nigga, bro. You got to say that to yourself, bro. You feel me? And this is a good example of that. You just got to practice it. Waiting for likes. No, stop that. Stop that. Look at yourself and like yourself first. Because it doesn't matter how much other people like you. It doesn't matter how much other people validate you. Until you don't validate yourself. Until you don't like yourself. Nothing else matters. That's one tip that I can give you. Start working on yourself today. Put in the comments below what you thought of this video. Like, share, subscribe, and let's work on this together. Thank you for watching. Hey, man, shout out to you, man. A uh, meet, a uh, ghost. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, bro. But yeah, hey, shout out to you, bro. Um, Look, anybody watching this, he is spitting facts, my God. And you know he's been a fact. You don't need me or him to tell you that. You don't need any other motivational speaker or all these other motivational shorts that be coming in. The 3 a.m. motivation that you'll be seeing. You don't need none of that, bro. You know what it is. You know what's going to take for you to be confident, bro. And it all starts with so-so. So, you might as well start now. Now, look, with that being said, I got some more videos I got to cook up, but start now, bro. Just start now. But, yeah, like, comment, subscribe for more, and... I'm out, bro.